Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tissing for this new hair. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all about this gorgeous hair. This hair is from XRS Beauty. And you guys can can you see the way I'm blushing and smiling? You guys, this is my Christmas hair. I love it. I'm in love with it. I feel very pretty with this hair. And it took me a minute to film because I started filming the hair two days ago and for some reason my camera went off the light went off it got really dark as i'm speaking to you it's currently 3 p.m but it's so like gloomy and jet black outside and i decided to use artificial light so it might look like it's night time but it's really not night time so i'm going to show you how i installed this hair i installed this hair using got to be spray i did not use any ghost burn adhesive that, I, that as i usually use that's what i used to install this hair just for something different because it's invisible lace i'm going to show you guys and take you through the process in case you want to try this method and you just want a frontal that you know that when you wear people will be like what lace girl this is the hair and I hope that it's coming off as nice as it is on camera and I quite like it I really like how natural looking it came out as you guys can see this is me just touching my hair no like from ear to ear is secure and I really like the way I, I styled it so yeah I don't think I should talk too much. This hair is already doing the talking by itself. So yeah, please, if you'd like to know how I installed this hair, and if you'd love to learn how to use the got to be method as well, definitely please keep watching. Without further ado, let's just get right into this video. Hey, so the hair arrived via DHL really promptly in this beautiful box. I think this is the second type of box I'm ever re receiving from any hair brand that looks really, really nicely packed like this. I actually already shared this on my Instagram as well. So it just has the business name on the top, a brown bow and an orange box. I really like this combination as well, this color combination. So this is just the box. This was on the first day of filming. So here I'm just opening the box to show you the content. It also came with some nice goodies. I'm not sure if when you purchase the hair regularly you get all these things i'm not sure but this is what came in my own package so i got these two hair clips alligator clips this will help if you, when you're styling the hair just to maybe hold the frontal in place this too then i also got um, a hair comb after the hair comb i got a stocking cap and i think i got two stocking caps actually and i really like the color that it gave two stocking caps although for this video i did not use stocking caps and i also got this toothbrush edge brush and i got two clips just for like an elastic band at the back of the hair just so it's more snug and tight which i think was nice the fact that it was removable also i got this pamphlet like a booklet just showing you how to style the hair the laces and also like um, curl farmers bending rollers or bendy rollers so i'm just putting everything back into the box and i'm going to show you the hair itself you guys my first initial reaction once i opened the hair from the packaging was just the texture it felt very soft it just felt very soft and i couldn't wait to open it now i know that the lighting looks a bit dark but trust me i had to go and get um my four lights just so you can see but i'm going to show you the inside of the wig first before we now show you the texture of the hair so as you can see it's neatly done this is the lace it's very wide for you to part as much as you want and this is the frontal i did not need to customize this hair it already came pre-customized i actually was going to bleach and pluck but i said you know what no let me style this hair and see how it looks without doing anything just straight from the box and it looks gorgeous all the lengths and everything i'm going to show you as well in the description box or even on the screen so now this is the hair texture i think with this light you can kind of see how glossy it is this is me also using the comb that came with it to show you how the frontal is i will lay the frontal on my head later in the video just so you can see the how it was customized how they try to get it to like your edges how someone's edges will look so inside it also comes with this thing that you're going to use to hook the elastic that i showed you earlier and some weak combs and i removed those so this is my hair in plaits i i've had this hair for like i think a week now it's shrunken now so these are my braids and this is the wig on my head now i'm putting it on my head just so you guys you, can, you guys can see the customization as i said as you guys can see i think they did a really great job customizing the hair to suit a person's hairline now here i'm just showing you the three types of laces that we usually have just so you can kind of know the difference the first one is just like regular lace the middle one is the lace that comes with the hair and the last one is just like a um, transparent lace that we used to use before so obviously the one in the middle is the one that lays better as you can see is more seamless into my skin i used a got to be spray for this and i just that's when i decided that i was going to use got to be spray to lay the hair so now we're just going to go and lay the hair with got to be spray you can put it up like this. Can you guys see the side bends? Like this. You can do a center part and so many more. So what I'm just going to do now is 
I'm going to cut off all the excess lace. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut off all the excess lace and also remove all the combs inside using a tiny blade. And then when I'm done, I'm going to do my makeup dress up because I'm so pressed for time. It's pitch black outside. I need to dress up. I'm going out with my husband and my daughter for a concert and I need to be done before 5.30. So let's get right into this video. So the first thing we're going to do is you need to clean your skin. I'm just using my regular face cleanser. As you can see, the, the lighting is just going in and out. So once I'm done cleansing my skin, I'm just going to wear the wig on my head. I didn't wear a stocking cap for this video on purpose because I didn't want to do the bald cap method because I, I wanted to remove my wig as soon as I'm home or as soon as I was done with the video. So I decided to just lay it on my head like that, as you can see. And here I'm just looking for a hair tie. Just put my hair in a bun so i can properly lay my 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 front out properly on the hairline now i know that this video might look like um it's sped up but trust me it's not sped up i'm doing it very slow but it is if not this video is going to be one hour long and i don't want that so i'm using the regular got to be spray this is the new bottle and i'm spraying it on my hair and you're just going to blow dry it i decided to use hot setting you can use cool setting if you want but as i said i was pressed for time so now as you're laying it it's going to be showing like white cast because of obviously i think the alcohol in it so it's going to be showing white cast but don't worry about that you can always remove that with a cloth and your cleanser or rubbing alcohol and a cleanser once you're done removing that then you can now put like maybe your powder on that place just for it to blend even further so just ignore the process or oh, is it ignore the process or just put in mind the process and just see how i'm doing it so basically it's quite explanatory you spray you make sure you comb all the hair strands out of the way so you spray your skin not the hair you lay it on top and you hold it in place until it dries up i'm going to slow it down shortly so that you guys can see how careful i'm doing it and i'm not rushing just the way it looks on camera and So yes, that's how I was doing it. Just slow like that, bit by bit, side by side. Anyone that I felt like maybe I didn't lay properly, I would remove it, like just comb it away and then do it again. That's the beauty of this um, got to be um, spray method. It's very easy to fix errors. So I'm also repeating that for the other side as well. I think the really tricky parts are the um, sideburns, the sides, because what the last thing that you want is for your sideburns to be looking very wiggy, not properly laid, too many hair in place. And another thing I like about this um, wig by XRS Beauty is the way they actually twist the hairline. I like the fact that they did not put too many, too many baby hairs. If you watch my previous videos, you would know I'm not really a fan of baby hairs. So here, what I'm just doing is I'm just using a comb just to hold it down as I spray. But be very careful doing it because the more combing you do or the more you put a comb to hold it down, the more there will be a white cast because it's like you're, you're lifting and dropping baby hairs. So the white cast, as I said, I'm just saying it again for representation it can be removed and i removed it which you saw at the beginning of the video you could not even tell until i started um showing you how i got this hair so when you're done with the entire process you want to take an elastic band a one inch elastic band this is very important this is what's going to allow you to allow the frontal the hairline to be very slick or to slip into your skin better you can now in this process then you can now curl your hair you can comb your hair you can straighten it anything you want to do at this point you can do it but i decided to go on and do my makeup so i'm showing you just the length of the hair without being curled i'll show you again at the end so this is me after doing my makeup removing the band can you guys see you cannot see any white cast on the hairline all the white cast sorry that's just my phone going off is gone but you know one thing i always tell you about frontals is that no matter how nice your frontal is it is still a frontal it's not coming out of your scalp it is still a lace but this does very well no one is that close to your hairline so yeah i'm just going to keep quiet and i'm going to continue on with the styling of the hair for the remainder nine minutes in this video okay I brought the light to the front because it's getting really dark now 
so you guys can see um i really hope this is clear the lace is on my head i haven't styled the hair but i just want to show you how versatile the install is because i did it all back but i'm going to put a part let me just brush the hair i hope the camera can sh is showing how soft the hair is and so this is it so i think i might do a side part yeah i think i might do a side part if there's any cast showing it's not cast it's just the the effect of the light i'm using a white light it's small it's literally the small but it's so bright so i'm just going to style this here even all back like this i think it's very pretty you can you know straighten it further leave it like this wear like statement earrings look super pretty oh let me get my mirror yeah you can do that i mean it's really nice let me put it behind my ears just so you guys can see everywhere is properly laid i'm blocking okay like this or you can decide to wear it as a side part which i think is what i'll be doing today or even a center part so yeah let's style this hair i'm gonna use a tail uh a small comb like a comb like this i'm gonna define the part and i'm going to give you guys a review of this hair okay i hope i'm in focus i'm just oh i really love this hair man you guys damn damn oh it's so beautiful i'm just going to like even without a part it's so nice i'm just going to do a side part i don't know if i should even do pattern at all safe but i'm just going to curl the hair a bit just put like light waves i'm going to use a straightener to do the waves i'm just going to take my blow dryer and i'm just going to <sighs> oh dear. i'm just going to ensure that it's super flat on the top as i said you guys can see like it's already flat but just so it's super flat i'm just gonna i, I should have used the round brush but i don't want volume so i'm just going to use a paddle brush <laughs> You know, like invisible pattern. Notice, guys, I haven't put any product on this hair besides the got to be spray that I used to melt the hairline. So, I'm just gonna do it this way. <laughs> Just so you can see how wearable this hair is and as i said i'm gonna put just like 10 spiral curls in the hair just at the base nothing too serious you can decide to go in if you do a parting you might try to go in with a hot comb just so you know the top part and maybe even like a wax stick just that if there's any fly away it's the hair gel just like a what's this thing called edge control i just put a bit on my palm and I slip it down or alternatively you can use like a soft brush like this put some hair wax on it or even hairspray and just like comb it down You're right but there was no product on that so I'm just gonna go with the one I put on my hand and just slip it down can you guys see it's giving me a little bit of sheen and you can just brush it into place right so if I were to put a part let me just show you what I usually do I just take like my concealer brush, I put it in my powder, and I just um, do that. And I just do that. Just so that next time if I want to wear it, I kind of know where the pattern is. But yeah, enough talking. Let me just curl this hair, and then you guys can see. <laughs> my brain no. I'm no longer searching oh I'm certain they must think of serum just some literally can you guys see people that pack oil and grease on their hair it's gonna weigh your hair down you want to rub it like this and then just a little a little if you want your curls to last longer, please feel free to use hairspray. But as I said, me, I don't want that kind of thing. I just want light, light curls. Just light, nothing too, too serious. Well, 
I think I could have done better with this front one. So let me see if I can redo it again. Yeah. Put my product. Usually what I do is when I curl my hair with a flat iron, you see this front one, I usually use my curling wand and then I set, in, set it in place with the, with the prong clip. But as I said, because I didn't want, oh, so pretty. Because I didn't want anything too serious. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm hey. Oh, fine. Oh, oh pretty. Oh, I'm very gorgeous. Look. I'm using my viewfinder. I can't even see myself proper. I'm just using the viewfinder of my camera. I think this is so, so stunning. And I hope when I'm editing this video, it remains the same. Because sometimes, if you're feeling so pretty, by the time you watch the video back, you'll be like, oh my god. Maybe there was something on your teeth. Or the hair was just looking, like, weird. But yeah, this is it. I like this. And I think I'm content with this. If you like a hump, feel free to, as I said, set it with a hairspray but i'm just i'm going for easy side part so i'm not going to wear earrings i'm just going to show you guys the beauty that is this hair and me because <laughs> i feel very pretty today so i'm just going to add more blush i'm wearing like really light orange blush guys so that's it yeah I think I'm just gonna do my cameo now. Hey, let me scatter the curls. <laughs> you guys, just just look at this hair. Look at me touching the hair. Like, uh, it's so beautiful it's so beautiful and i love it i love it i love it i love it so yeah that's about it guys thank you so much for watching this video make sure you like you share you check out xrs beauty xrs beauty hair because this hair i give it a 10 over 10 this frontal i did not pluck one i did not customize i did not bleach i did not do anything like just soak in this gorgeousness well, obviously you will need skills to lay this hair so yeah, make sure you, I'm going to put all the description box, uh, I'm going to put all the codes in the description box below if you're interested in this hair, where to buy from, the links to purchase, and the lengths that I got, everything I'm going to put in the description box be below. By the time you're watching this video, I probably would have also posted on my Instagram story, so you might just be coming from Instagram. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy, and this is going to be my Christmas hair, and I hope you enjoy. Until next time, stay blessed, bye-bye. Okay. Okay.